Well, hello everyone. My name is Rick Pasek, the fly fish fanatic, and welcome to my tying bench. Today we'll be tying a cormorant style fly, a uh, British or uh, UK fly. Um, it's a fairly old pattern, uh, the, the cormorant. Uh, and there's dozens upon dozens upon dozens of variations of the cormorant. Um, it's, it represents a, can represent the leech, can represent that, but the, mostly it represents like little pin fry. So let's get going here. So this is what we'll be tying today. Uh, let's just make sure that that's in focus for you guys. Been having problems with my camera today, so hopefully everything works. So, yeah, so that's what we'll be tying. There, there is different variations of it. Um, the original pattern was with here. I'll just get rid of that one. Was with deer hair. So it just all depends on what kind of movement what you want. Um, this one's going to have a little bit less movement, obviously, than the marabou one. Uh, when the marabou one is wet and slick down it's uh quite uh quite slick right and when you do the same thing with the deer hair one it it does slick down as well but just not as much so again it's just a different uh different look so it depends which which what look you're going for um i find that the deer hair doesn't have quite as much movement as the marabou so and today's I'll be tying with the marabou. So to start, got a Hens BL 254N in a size 10. So I'll put that uh, in the vise. Um, as you guys can tell, if you've watched any of my other videos, I really, really like the Hens hooks. Um, they're just phenomenal. They're super sharp, super strong. Um, <clears throat> and I love the fact that they're barbless, but they've got that little turned up, uh, turned up point, which really helps hold the... Uh, the uh, fish on so um so for the body uh, uh sorry for the thread i'll be using some zemperfly nano silk in a black um for the body i'll be using some pearl tinsel um for the rib i'll be using some zemperfly 0.2 mil silver rib uh for the ribbing and then um uh, for the wing i'll be using a little bit of white a hens uh, marabou in white and a hens marabou in black and then uh some Zemperfly um, goose biots in, in a hot orange. Okay, that's going to be for the, uh, the cheeks. Now, you could do the cheeks and goose biots, you can do the cheeks with uh, jungle cock. I prefer it with the goose biots. So, get your thread started, put a nice base coat down all the way, cut off your excess. As always, same thing. Right. Come back to about where the barb would be. And then I'm going to come back forward. It can be an open wrap, so it doesn't really matter that much. Um, you do want to make sure that you're, you've got a nice base. Now I'm going to stay about two to three eye lengths, the, 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 thickness, the distance of the eye there. I want to stay two to three back because I, def I need room at the front for my wings, right? So, so I'm going to take my silver wire just lay it in here on the side a couple of wraps I'm going to take my tinsel and lay it in as well a couple of wraps Oop, just popped out on me so there a couple of wraps now uh, just in open turns I'm just going to get it back to that where I ended with my wire Sorry, with my thread underneath right there. And then I'm just going to come back forward. Now, if you want a different shade underneath, if you want this to look a little brighter, um, you can use like a really bright thread underneath for the underbody because it will show through a little bit of that in that pearl. Um, this one will, it kind of, it's, it's kind of deceiving. This one kind of goes almost like a, almost green when it's, uh, but it depends on which way you, Right, I mean, it depends on which way you turn. You can see there's some green, there's some blue. It just depends on which way the, uh, the tinsel is turned, right? So there, I'm just gonna wrap this forward, overlapping the last wrap. One more. Like I said, you wanna make sure you leave some room at the front there 
for your uh, your marabou and your goose bias that you're going to be tying in. So just tie that off. Nip that off, get it out of the way. Now I'm going to counter wrap my wire. So whatever direction I went with the tinsel, I'm going to go in the opposite direction with my wire. It just helps hold the, the tinsel together. There. And that wire tied in. Back, a couple turns front, a couple turns behind, helicopter it off. There we go. We got a little tiny little tag there. Let's see if I can get that off. I don't know if I can. I'm gonna just have to burn it off. Again, it's not like the not like the fish can see that, but for us it matters. <laughs> for us fishermen, right? Um, I tie, as you guys have probably noticed if you've watched some of my videos, I tie a lot of fishing flies. I don't tie a lot of pretty flies. There's no use for pretty flies. At least not me. Um, I don't have the patience for them. So, so I'm going to just take a little bunch, not a lot, of my, uh, my white marabou. Cut one end nice and straight for the tie-in. catch that in nice and tight okay don't give it too many wraps now you're gonna go a little bit past the uh, the bend of the hook right I want it to be about about there so I'm just gonna pinch it and then tear that gives it a more natural look I'm gonna get my fingers wet just wet that marabou down a bit just so it's uh, so it's it uh, cooperates more now the black gonna make it the same length, if not just slightly longer, but just slightly. Nip that off, hold that packet in there. A couple of wraps, make sure it's on top. This one wants to slide to the side a bit, that's okay. Oh, no, that slid to, I'm gonna take that back off. Make sure my white stays on top. That's the beauty of fly tying, you can always undo, right? So you want this to stay on top, so get right on top there. There you go. Beauty. That looks good. So now just clean up your around your eye here a bit. You're going to want a little bit of a head when we're done, but not a lot. Okay. So now again, I would take my black here is just give it a bit of a pinch off. Don't cut. Okay. Never ever cut marabou if you can help it. It just doesn't look natural, right? So I'm gonna slick that all back. Just make sure it's nice and just out of my way more than anything. Okay. Uh, tight in there because a couple of a couple of fibers just pulled out so you want to make sure that's tight so now I'm going to take my goose biots I'm going to take two of them so I'm just going to cut off two <clears throat> oh, those look a little ratty so I'll go down here okay and I'm going to take one of the biots and I'm going to lay it on this side and I want to lay it right in line with right in line with the shank of the hook okay and I wanted it to go about halfway back so I'm just gonna lay it in there squeeze with my thumb come around a couple of wraps yeah that's pretty good I want it to be up just just ever so slightly from the from the shank so I don't it doesn't need to be perfectly lined with the shank you'll see what it, what I mean in a minute Yeah, there we go you see that it's just slightly up from from level with the shank so now I'm just gonna give that nice tighten make sure I get those tightened down nicely then I'm gonna hold my my nano silk really tight and I'm gonna grab a pair of tweezers and I'm just gonna grab my buy it and nip it off and just break it off with the with the tweezers it usually goes a lot easier than that just one little pull and it's clean and 
there we go. Same here. See if you can, I'll do it with you guys being able to see. So I just grab it and pull. I'm not getting close enough, obviously. I should be able to pull that in. Let's see. See if I can pull that down. Yeah, there you go. So now I do want to build just a little bit of a head. Nothing major. So it's about it right there. You want to keep your head fairly uh, tight here. Um, see if I can, with my whip finish, if I can get that little piece of bayet that is sticking out. So it's nice and tight there. A little bit more maybe. There you go. So one more set of whip finish. Nice and tight. And then slick that back. And let's see, I'll pull this out. I'm just gonna get it wet with my, my mouth. And you'll see how nice and slick that is. It slicks back really nice, right? I'll pull that back a bit there for you guys. So it slicks back really nice and that's, that's what you want right so yeah and those 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 uh those goose bites i've got it in, i've got them in in yellow i've got them in a in a fluorescent green in a black if you want to use that but i like using the the yellow the fluorescent green and the fluorescent orange uh, it just acts as a hot the hot spot right it attracts them now this one i could have this one is just a tiny bit too long i could have shortened that one up a bit i could have probably well let's see i'll show you the other side see how that one's a little bit shorter that's that's the, how I would have preferred it um, about like I said about halfway maybe a little bit past halfway the uh, down the shank okay this one's a little bit further so I could have tied that one a little bit further back but it'll 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 fish just just fine so alrighty and these could be fished on a floating line uh, just stripped back in the really shallow water uh, we've been fishing them in in uh, one to three feet of water here in uh, central Alberta um, for tigers and browns and they've just been killing so um, and rainbows as well uh, yeah so just in the in the shallow water with a with a uh, t um, floating line uh, you can fishing on it fish it on a team like in a in a washing line technique so you've got a, a floating fly on the far end and then you've got a one of these and a, maybe a back swimmer or two of these on uh, for your droppers um, but yeah, ju and just strip them back. They're, like I said, they're a pin fry, so make them move like a fry would, right? Moving around erratically, fairly quick. If that doesn't attract them, slow it down a little bit, but uh, yeah. Alrighty, so I hope you enjoyed that. Give that one a shot. It, uh, like I'm saying, this these are very effective. You can change up the colors as well. Go white and green, uh, black and white. Uh, uh, you, can, you can put a little bit of red in there too if you want. If you got red goose bites, that works as well. So, alrighty. If you like that, give her a thumbs up. If you've uh, subscribed, thank you very much. If you have not, please consider doing so. And once I hit a thousand subscribers, we'll be giving away a bunch of flies from this channel and a copy of the books I wrote. So, uh, and we're getting close. So, um, should probably be, if it keeps going the way it is, about another month. All right. Tie lines, everyone.